going on folks? How she freed from satire.net. I just wanted to talk to you today about a couple things that have been, uh, you know, in the news lately. Uh, Sarah Hurwitz, first uh, orthodox woman rabbi. I say orthodox because there's been a lot of debate whether or not she's orthodox. Is it modern orthodox? Is it conservatox? Is it something completely new? Is it open orthodox? No one really knows. A um, few thoughts. Um, I understand there are a lot of people who are extremely anti this. This is a terrible thing. There's only a few people who are pro this. Um, I'm both pro and anti, and there's been a lot of debate on my blog. Check it out from satire.net. Um, pro and anti. I contradict myself about ten times. Um, pro. Kirib. Think of all the people who aren't from because of women's issues. People who are like, eh, it's demeaning, it's degradating, they just expect us to pop out babies and, you know, sit on the other side of the mechitza and not participate and whatever. So you have a woman rabbi, title and only, because you can't really, I mean, is she going to lead services? No. Is she going to stand at the pulpit? Maybe during speech, but everyone's half asleep anyway. So I can't really figure out what she's going to be doing in the terms of the pulpit position. In terms of advice, though, think about it. All the Nita issues, all the sexual stuff, all the stuff that women don't feel comfortable asking a man, and I never even understood why it's sneeze for a woman to ask a man, you know, even if it's halakha, it's sexual halakha. That's like me going up to a woman. I, I wouldn't feel comfortable asking a woman about, you know, all sorts of issues I'm sure that men have, you know, I don't have yet because I'm not married, um, or I do have and I don't keep halakha. You, you, you can decide. But, um... I don't know, from a Kira perspective, it sounds pretty good to me. It sounds like it's actually a pretty good thing. Of course, then someone might say, what's the difference between conservative and orthodox? And then you'll say the Torah, Misenai, Halacha, Gemara, driving the Shulant Shamas, all sorts of tikkunas that we don't believe in. And then again, if we make a woman a rabbi and she's orthodox, what's next? Do they start counting them the minion? Do they call them up for aliyahs? Do they do Masada Kedushin? Are they aiding them? And then we start whittling away at the foundations of orthodoxy. So really, there's no halachic wrong with it, right? I don't think there is. I've asked a lot of people this, and everyone can say, it's not halachically prohibited, but eating chicken and milk isn't halachically prohibited, but pretty much everyone agrees that chicken is like meat, and blah, 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 blah. Some people even don't even eat fish and milk. Um, so from the pro and anti aspect, the pro aspect is this kind of, you know, you know, let's go and go. But then again, are these people doing it because they want to help out Judaism or are they doing it for their own agenda? You see, one of the things I never got about, um, you know, feminism, women's rights, I, all for it, glass ceiling, you don't see a glass ceiling here. It's one of those asbestos ceilings, you know? Yeah, feminism, like I said. These women, they want to put on talus and tefillin, yet they drive to Shulam Shabbos and they don't keep kosher and they don't keep tarts for shvachos. I never really understood the whole, you know, matzav or the havamina around doing all these male-centric mitzvos without doing everything that you're required to do. I don't want to go and, you know, light Shabbos candles and break bread or give bread every week. I don't want to do the women's mitzvahs. i got to concentrate on my own. So is it, you know, a case of, of trying to be equal, which we are not. Men and women are completely different people. No, but I don't like the term equality, although mechitza isn't necessarily separate but equal, but that's another story. I mean, mechitzas to me are great because they separate everyone and they make the women look hotter than they are. I don't know why, because maybe because they're forbidden or, you know, something of the sort. So, uh, Sarah Hurwitz.